This exam question on circle sectors and radians brings together everything we've done in the tutorial so far. It brings together converting from degrees to radians and then the circle sectors part. So let's have a look. It says the diagram shows a sector AOB of a circle with centre O and radius R. The angle AOB is 54 degrees. The perimeter of the sector is 60 centimetres. Express 54 degrees exactly in radians. OK, using the method we previously learned, 360 degrees is equivalent to 2 pi radians. And we want 54 degrees. So we want to divide by 360 to get 1 degree, then times by 54. So 2 pi divided by 360 times 54. There it is there, 2 pi divided by 360 times 54, which is 3 tenths pi. 3 tenths pi radians. Do the same to both sides, we get that. So the answer, let's make it prominent, 3 tenths pi radians. Now if you do convert it to a decimal, you end up actually losing marks here. It asks for the exact answer, so the very act of converting to a decimal shows lack of understanding of what the question wanted and would lose you a mark. Part 2. Find the value of R, given your answer, correct to three significant figures. OK, well it's told us the perimeter of the sector is 60 centimetres. So that's obtained by adding together the two radii. So perimeter equals the two radii plus the curved part, the arc length, which is R times theta, which is R times, and we worked that out to be 3 tenths pi. OK. So we know also from the question that it's 60. So now let's gather everything up. That means that if we take R out as a factor, 2 plus 3 tenths pi equals 60. And finally, if we divide by what R has been times by, 2 plus 3 tenths pi, we get R equals 60 over 2 plus 3 tenths pi, which is approximately equal to, it's asked for the answer correct of three significant figures, so 60 over 2 plus 3 tenths pi is 20.4 to three significant figures. 20.4 to three significant figures. For more videos like this and other resources, go to alevelmathsrevision.com.